You are valuable when you are a child of God. When you come to Jesus, you have given your life to Christ. You are valuable to him because you are his child. But there are those who have a greater value than you based on just their state of being. Calm in the Holy Spirit. Am I calm externally? Or am I calm inwardly? Or am I just bottling up all the pressure? Proverbs 17, uh, 27. What does it say? And it reads, A man of knowledge restrains his words, and a man of understanding maintains a calm spirit. Did you hear that? A man of knowledge controls his what? Mouth. <clears throat> and a man of... Understanding maintains a calm spirit. He, he maintains it. It's something you maintain, you work on. I'm on the solid rock. No matter what comes, I'm not moved. Calm spirit. People think to be moved is to be destroyed. No. I'm not moved. First Peter 3, 4. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But let it be the hidden man of the heart mm -hmm. in that which is not corruptible, mm -hmm. even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God a great price. A meek and quiet, adorn your inner man. Adorn him with quietness. Let him be so quiet. See, when God speaks, you don't hear him because you're not quiet. That is why many people are just talking, okay, I had a dream, it's an evil man. Just by the way you're typing, you're talking, doing video, you don't have a calm spirit. That's why you can't hear him. It doesn't mean when you pray, people won't receive from God. They can. But you hearing his voice, you won't. You will notice the people who are always saying, ah, the spirit of divination. Have you ever seen them prophesy? They can't. They'll say prophetic words. <laughs> They will never just prophesy. They don't have insight or foresight. They just do declaration. Yet Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. His sheep have the capacity to hear. They don't listen to the voice of a stranger, meaning they are not distracted. Their spirit is calm. When Jesus speaks to their heart, they can pick it up. They know the Lord is speaking. When God sends angels to minister to them, their spirit is calm. They know God is leading. They can detect the presence of God and how it moves to know where they need to be and where they should not be. A meek, quiet spirit. When your spirit is calm, when you learn to be calm, to be centered in the Holy Spirit, your words become extremely dangerous. He said, by his lips, he shall smite the earth. And by his breath, he shall destroy the wicked. Just by your breath, you being around somewhere, witchcraft collapse, sorcery collapse. The works of darkness fall apart that they have to look for a way to, get, to, to try and stop you and they will not succeed. Why? A meek and a quiet spirit. Be centered in the Holy Spirit. Be calm, people. Stop strifing with people. It's rattling your spirit and you cannot hear from God. Stop having bitterness against people. Let them go. They're not adding anything to you. Why do you want hell? Let people go. Why do you want to have unforgiveness? Do you rather be angry at somebody and miss the voice of Jesus? Why would you want to miss Jesus for somebody that is foolish, that wronged you? Isn't God the one who avenges us? The greatest avenger is God. God will avenge us. A calm spirit. A spirit that is always chasing after God. A spirit that is always looking to God. A meek, quiet, calm spirit. If we can be like that, God cannot withhold anything from us.